Hi guys, so in previous session uh, we have seen the basic example and basic syntax of the Jenkins pipeline script. So whatever syntax uh, we have seen here that is the uh, Jenkins declarative syntax for the pipeline. So there is another one which is called as a scripted pipeline which start with the uh, node. Okay, so declarative pipeline will start with the pipeline. Okay, and uh, scripted and pipeline will start with the node. Okay, so to understand uh, this example practically we are going to uh, build the Maven project uh, which is available in the github using this Jenkins pipeline script. Okay, so this is the different stages we will have in our uh, pipeline. So we are going to check out the code from the git then compile code run the unit level test case and then build the project. And in case of failure you can send the email as well. Okay, so these are the some basic uh, stages we will we'll be having in our uh, declarative Jenkins pipeline. Okay, so let us see how we can uh, uh, practically do this in the Jenkins. So if this plugin is not available in your Jenkins, you can go to the manage Jenkins and install this plugin. So let us go to the Jenkins now. Okay, so first thing uh, what you have to do is as per this uh, example, we required one tool to run our uh, project right so here we are going to use the maven okay so you need to make sure maven is installed in your local system where your jenkins is installed and you have provided the uh, your maven one variable in the global tool configuration okay so for that purpose what you have to do is if you are not done go to the manage jenkins so whatever configuration you will require globally that you need to provide in the global tool configuration Okay, so first provide the Maven information in the global tool configuration if it is not provided. So I will show you that. Scroll down. So in this Maven section, I have provided my Maven details. Okay, so name I have provided as a Maven home and where that Maven is available. Okay, so Maven is available in the form of zip file. You just need to download the zip file and unzip it and uh, put it uh, somewhere in your local machine in the D drive or on the desktop anywhere and just provide the path of that maven in this maven home okay so jenkins will understand that i need to use the maven and that maven is available at this particular location on the local machine so what we can do is i will click on new item for creating the jenkins pipeline now so previously we are using the freestyle project or maven project for building our project but this time i am going to use this pipeline option okay and if you scroll down here you will avail, uh, you will see that multi branch pipeline is also available if you are using the multi branch but as of now i am going to use the only one branch that's why i will use this pipeline and here i will give let's say my so this is my project name and i will click on pipeline click on okay so directly click on the pipeline section okay so here you will find the pipeline and in this drop down you will find pipeline script or pipeline script from the scm okay so first let's see the pipeline script and uh, if you are beginner you can uh, try this syntax already available by default in the jenkins so if you want to print the hello world if you click on that it will give you the pipeline script uh, ready made okay so if you run this script it will simply go and print this hello world okay so it is very much similar it is going to use the agent any and uh, different stages let's say this is the hello stage and it is going to print the hello world uh, similarly they have different let's say github and maven this is the script that we can use okay and another one is scripted pipeline script okay so as i said it will start with the node okay so if you compare these two uh, script uh, syntax you will find that declarative pipeline script is more easy to understand and write okay so that will start with the pipeline so we need to uh, perform this practically now so i will copy this add it in the script area then uh, all these stages so all this will be uh, inside the single code so now we just need to provide the command to get the code from the github then compile the code run the test case and create the build like that so to get the code from the github here we need to use the git command so let's say git and just provide the git url over here so let's try to run this uh, maven project which is available in my github repository okay so i will copy this url and uh, you need to provide over here 
okay so from this url or from this repository it is going to check out my code so once checkout stage is completed then i need to compile the code okay so as i am running on the windows machine i will provide the bat command over here so if you are using the linux uh, machine then you need to use the sh command okay shell so script so i will use bat mvn for compile we need to use the compile mvn compile this is the phase then once compilation is successful then i need to run the test case then for that purpose same again i will use the bat and mvn test okay and then i need to create the build once test cases get executed so here bat mvn i can use the install or i can simply use the package as well and in case of any stage is failed then we can have our failure block so here we can instruct jenkins to send the email to my team members okay so you don't need to remember all these uh, syntax okay so if you take the help of this pipeline syntax over here you will get uh, the snippet generator over here so from this drop down you just need to select the what action you need to perform and that will create the script for you okay so for example let's say i want to send the email right so let's say let's take the extended email over here so let's say test1 at the red tester.com okay in your actual project you can add the actual email ids of your team member over here then any subject let's say and again body you can have the text as per your requirement okay so click on generate pipeline script so this is the text uh, we can use directly inside our failure block okay so if email is configured on your uh, jenkins server then it will uh, it will be able to send the email to actual email ids as well okay so this is how you can get the uh, syntax for sending the email okay so for now i am going to print only a statement okay so let's try to print the echo so this failure block uh, we will have to add inside the post action okay post block so here i will add the post and then add it here okay so that is it so our uh, pipeline script a basic pipeline script is ready okay so as we are running on the windows machine uh, you have to use the bat command if you are running on the linux you need to use the sh command over here okay otherwise it will give you the error so just click on apply and save so to run this pipeline we just need to click on build now button so build now it is going to start our pipeline script and it will start executing stages one by one so one stage so stage one checkout code is already done and this is the two second that means it took two second to check out the code from the github then compilation of the code is done within the six second and it is now running the test okay so it has taken the 11 second so you are you will be able to see what uh, stage is currently running okay so this is the stage for now for creating the build okay so whole project is completed uh, within around let's say 30 seconds okay so if you want to see the logs for a particular stage you can the mouse over on that and click on logs okay so you can expand this to check the more details okay so in case of failure you can check the logs from here okay and you can check the console output as well so click on this build and here you will find the complete output okay complete console output so let's try to see the failure block now so for that purpose i am going to intentionally uh, fail one stage in our pipeline let's say for building the project i will write some different command over here so test package this page is not available or uh, in our maven build life cycle right so it is definitely going to fail at the stage 4 and once stage 4 is failed then it should show you this statement so click on apply and save so i will click on build now again so for the different builds it will show you the different build uh, details over here
okay so in actual project there are different stages to create the build for running the test and it is going to take the time in hours right so you'll be able to see that details over here so you can see here build for has been failed right and you can check the logs why it got failed so windows batch script mvn test package so if i expand it here you will find the error that unknown life cycle phase so there is no phase like test package available in our maven build life cycle right so there are mvn test mvn clean uh, then mvn clean mvn install mvn package but we don't have any phase like this test package and that's why this stage forgot failed and once the stage is failed it has executed our post block that is our failure block okay post actions and let's check the logs so here you will find that it is going to print the statement only okay in actual project it is going to send the email to your team member about the build failure and here you can see the average time for completing this complete pipeline is around 31 second and you can click on this full stage view okay so that will not show you the uh, left hand menu then on the left hand side again you have the pipeline syntax in case of uh, any help you required for creating or writing any uh, script for any action then you can make use of snippet generator or for our declarative directive generator you can use for uh, any action you want to perform right so for instance we have used this post right so if you click on post then let's say i want to uh, trigger that post in case of failure okay so i have selected this checkbox and if i click on that it will give you this block okay so same block we have used in our declarative pipeline so in case of uh, build is unstable then you can use this checkbox and click on declarative pipeline so one block for unstable one for failure so depending upon your requirement you can have different actions to be performed in case of uh, build failure build aborted like that okay so just copy this syntax and add it in your jenkins pipeline script okay so i hope uh, this basic jenkins pipeline example and this basic syntax and basic example whatever you have seen will definitely help you uh, in your real-time projects and uh, that will also help you in the interviews as well